Good evening, my dear friends, and hello to Sister Sue, who's joined us from Blackpool. And for those not logged in, you're welcome. On this Pancake Tuesday evening, we light a light and we offer it in celebration for all gathered here. And this evening we remember the Cumbrian Ambulance Rescue, Mountain Rescue Team, who go out in all weathers to rescue the, the walkers and climbers here in Cumbria. In the name of all that is sacred to all of us here, we celebrate our love of God, a God who has many names, but still the one true loving God. So let us gather at this table this evening as we say the office of Vespers. O oh God, come to my aid, O oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Interestingly, today, the 17th of February, is also a feast um, in the Catholic Church of the seven holy founders of the Servite Order. And they have a beautiful place there in, um, in Man North Manchester, a uh, beautiful chapel, and the, the brothers and priests are beautiful. So we remember them as well. Our hymn this evening, Before we end our day, O Lord, we make this prayer to you, that you continue in your love to God, your people here. Give us this night untroubled rest and build our strength in you, your splendor driving far away all darkness of the foe. Our hearts desire to love you, Lord, watch over while we sleep, that when the new day dawns on high, we may your praises sing. All glory be to you, O Christ, to save mankind from death, to share with you the Father's love, and in the Spirit live. The first antiphon, you cannot serve both God and wealth. And now we read Psalm 48. Hear this, all you peoples, give heed, all who dwell in the world, men both low and high, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom, my heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable, with the harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me? Men who would trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches. For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age. Though their names spread wide through the land, in his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You cannot serve both God and wealth. And the second antiphon, Store of treasure for yourselves in heaven, says the Lord. And we continue with Psalm 48. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. With the morning and out, their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home, but God will ransom me from death and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases, 
He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, men will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers, who will never see the light anymore. In his riches, man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Now let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Store up treasures for yourself in heaven, says the Lord. And the third antiphon, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive glory and honour. We have a canticle reading now from the book of Revelation, chapter 4. Worthy are you, O Lord our God, to receive glory and honour and praise, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seal, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed many, excuse me, you ransomed men for God, from every tribe and town and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour in glory and blessing. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive glory and honour. And now we come to our scripture reading. And it's from Romans chapter 3, verses 23 to 25. Since all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, they are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as an expiation by his blood to be received by faith. This was to show God's righteousness. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short response read, You will give me the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. You will give me the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. I will find happiness at your right hand forever. You will give me the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. You will give me the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. Our Magnificent Antiphon this Pancake Tuesday evening reads, Do great things for us, O Lord, for you are mighty and holy is your name. And now I invite you to join me for the Canticle of Mary. The Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty does marvellous things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things and sends the rich away empty-handed. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. We pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Do great things for us, O Lord.
for you are mighty and holy is your name. And now we come to that part of evening prayer that we call the intercessions. Christ is the shepherd of his flock. He loves and cares for his people. We turn to him in trust and say, response, Lord, we need your care. Christ our Lord, you are the pastor of all the ages. Protect all religious leaders and all those men and women who've selflessly given their lives in service to you. Response, Lord, we need your care. Be with those who are being persecuted for their faith and those cut off from the support of their church. Good Shepherd, in their pain and isolation, may they know you care. Response, Lord, we need your care. And we pray for the 21 Christians who were beheaded by the militant fundamentalist group yesterday. And we just pray for their families and for the witness that they have given to Christ. What brave men and women. Bring healing to the sick. Give nourishment to the hungry. Response, Lord, we need your care. We remember those who make our laws and those who apply them. Lord, give them wisdom and discernment. Response, Lord, we need your care. Gather the flock for which you lay down your life. Bring home to their father's house all who have died in your peace. Response, Lord, we need your care. And as we come to our important elections for the next Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, we pray especially for God's guidance that the Christian brothers and sisters and those of other faiths will not vote with their feet, but will vote based on policies that embrace the marginalized and the vulnerable in our community. We pray that people will vote and listen to their heart. Response, Lord, we need your care, we need your guidance and the fresh outpouring of your spirit. And now for a moment in silence, let us pray in the secret of our heart to a beloved Father, Mother, God, who truly cares for each one of us. Let us now share with our Father, Mother, God, anything or everything, anyone or everyone that we are concerned about at this hour. This evening we pray for all Christians around the world who are celebrating the Eve, Pancake Tuesday, before the big fast starting tomorrow for 40 days and 40 nights. We pray it won't be a time of gloom and doom, but it will be a time of celebration as it will be in the Latin American countries this evening where they'll have carnival where they really do celebrate the beginning of Lent with fireworks, color, costumes, music, and dancing in the streets. And I was blessed to witness it one year in Madeira on Pancake Tuesday. It was an amazing spectacle for everybody took part from the town of Funchal. So let us celebrate as we all come together to enter a period of reawakening our heart to what the beloved underwent for us. And instead of giving up things for Lent like chocolate and sweets and some like my father used to do, give up his drink, wouldn't it be better to reach out and do some charitable works for those who are in need? Anyway, I want to pray for those who are hurting at this hour, for those who are really struggling with health issues. I pray for one of Jan's friends called Jimmy, 
who tried to kill himself yesterday, a brilliant musician and guitarist. I pray for Sister Karen's pen pal or friend in North Carolina called Carol, who's got immune encephalitis and very, very ill in hospital there. And I pray for dear mother Olivia, whom I spoke to this morning, who's feeling a little brighter and wishes to convey her gratitude for all the prayers. For all the members of our community, past and present, and for all the members of Heart to Soul Prayer Partners for Peace, for our presenters past and present, and for the friends of our community, we say thank you, God. Thank you for your healing touch on all our hearts at this hour. So let us now pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us tonight our daily bread. Forgive us our trespass, our faults, our failings, our indecisions, our procrastination. Forgive us our lack of love to self. Lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of evil, the forces of negativity and fear that seek to alienate us from your loving heart. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now for our closing prayer, my dear friends. Let us pray. Yours is the day and yours the night, Lord God. Let the sun of justice shine so steadily in our hearts that we may come at length to that light where you dwell eternally. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. So now we finish with the Celtic blessing. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this night and on every human family. The gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gift of brother sun and sister moon and the gifts of the animal kingdom be in your hearts this night and forevermore. Amen. Namaste. Shalom, inshallah, pax et bonum om shanti, solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace of your God Goddess reawaken in your heart a desire to surrender your life to God. I blow out this flame and I blow the peace of God to you. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. I pray that you have a, a pleasant evening and that you enjoy your pancakes, however you like them. On Doves for Peace at eight o'clock this evening, we have Cynthia from uh, America. And I pray that I'm up to leading our vigil tonight at 10 o'clock. Thank you for joining me. God bless you. Thank you.